Hi, I'm Gemma Kidd. Welcome to the Gemma Kidd Makeup School. Learn how to use daring colour and catwalk style to add drama to a look. I'm going to do a party look. It's sort of a make an entrance look. It's going to bring in colour and vibrance. We're going to work with the skin. It's a beautiful, fresh, colourful look. For any look, what's really important is to get good brows. Now, our lovely model here, Nadina, has beautiful brows, but she has a few little ones that I'm going to take off underneath. I'm not going to reshape. I'm just going to work underneath and just take off these few little ones. So with the tweezers, coming up underneath and pull. Always pull to the direction of the brow. Never do it this way. Always pull it this way. With the foundation, I'm only going to cover where needed. So with Nadina's um, beautiful skin, I'm only going to work it underneath the eye, around the nose, around the chin. I'm just going to dab the foundation very lightly because the skin is very, very, very thin around the eye area. So you have to be very light handed. Never draw the skin away. So what I do is I always start underneath and around the eye getting rid of any redness um, and then I normally sort of blend it out. You can apply by using a foundation brush or a sponge. And with foundation, what's really important, which so many people do, is they put it on and then they wipe it. That is not the way you should put foundation on. You should always tap it on. Or if you are going to wipe it, do very, very small little movements because otherwise you're applying the foundation and then you're wiping it away. So I've applied the colour, this area, and then I'm sort of working it up and out. Never draw the movement down. Always try and push the skin up. It's better for the wrinkles. You don't have any. <laughs> you're lucky. So I'm going to work a bit around the mouth area. There's a lot of redness around the mouth naturally. And when you've got a colour put onto the mouth and it isn't neutralised, then the redness is emphasised. So it's important to put foundation, especially in the corners, around the mouth. I normally put it over the lip area. And then that helps you later on to get that sort of perfect lip shape. And also what I do is I normally put foundation on the top lid as well because there's always a little bit of redness. So it's just a little habit to get into. You just have to put a little layer over the eyelid like that. With my concealers, I've put in the two colours, the pink tone and the yellow tone. The pink tone is fantastic for underneath the eye, lifting the colour. The yellow tone is great for spots and blemishes. We're now going to go into colour. I'm using my Ocean Eye Silk, but I've put it into a really usable pencil. What you do is you look down there. Basically, first working at the root of the lash, penciling in all over the top of the eyelid. It's like colouring in really. And then you blend the colour and then what I do is I just then colour in the whole of the eye area, working over the whole sort of where the eyeball is. And then when, when you reach what we call the socket line, which is where the brow bone starts, so underneath the brow bone is the socket line, I stop. And I just pencil it in, so it's a nice even colour. Like that. Now, using my finger, you can use a brush for this application as well. 
but I'm using my finger because it's very easy and they're very, very good tools. So I'm just blending it up. What I've done is I've just blended the outside of the colour so it has a nice soft finish to it. Open. And that gives a lovely sort of soft smoky effect. I'm now going to reapply around the eye area to give it more of an intense finish. Close. So with my fingers I'm just going to blend it out so it sort of has a nice finished effect, a lovely smoky soft aura around the eye. Open. Like that. Going on to the other eye, again, just penciling in around the root. Doesn't matter if you get any on the lashes because you always wipe those away with mascara later. It's the most important to get a really, really strong, even colour at the root. I'm going to go too high up in there. Now, just blending the colour, softening the edges. Once you know how to do this, you can literally do this look in five minutes. So you finish with a nice soft finish on each eye and what's important is to make sure they're nice and equal. We're now going to work on underneath the eye. I normally like to start from the corner of the eye and then just sort of little sort of back and forth movements. Just going to push the colour into the root slightly underneath. And then with my finger, so I'm just blending the colours to soften the edges. With eyeliner, make sure you work at a slight angle, working the colour onto the inner rim of the eye. And also, while you're doing the inner rim, you're colouring in the root of the lash. If you have more of a pencil eyeliner, in a way that it's not as creamy, always warm it up on your hands. It's a very, very delicate part of the eye here. For the next stage, I'm going to be curling the lashes. So looking down, squeezing, one, two, three, up and out. It's always important to curl your lashes first, then put mascara, then the fake eyelashes, and then more mascara. I'm doing it a nice zigzag movement because that helps get the mascara onto the lashes and coats them nice and evenly. Like that. We now move on to the lashes. Working the glue along the base making sure there's a lot in each of the corners and then working a little bit of the glue along the actual hairs. That helps the lashes stick on 